Hello and welcome to a showcase of the world map system I've been working on lately. So just to have something to look at, I built that very simple parkour level here with the different platforms. And if I hit M, the map will appear and my mouse cursor will now be visible. You see an icon of the player at his current location. And if you have a close look at the map, you will see that it's not rendered in game or something but rather it's drawn, so you could replace it by any image you create in software like Photoshop or GIMP. When we move around, we will see that our player icon updates according to that. And also if we hide the map and go to another location and then show it again, it also updated perfectly. Apart from that, you can go anywhere on your map and hit the right mouse button. Then you will see a marker appearing. Currently the color of that is orange and in the world there was an actor spawned with the location matching the one of the marker. I can also hit the right mouse button multiple times to create new markers and they will all have different colors based on some settings. So next one here would be blue, then it would be green and then we would go back to the beginning. So orange, blue and then green again. There is also a setting for the maximum amount of markers at a time, which is currently set to 6. So if I were to hit the right mouse button at another location, our first marker, so the orange one here, should be removed. And the same goes for our actor here with the spark effect. So I hit right mouse button. Yep, that was removed. Also if you hit an existing marker with the right mouse button, let's go to the green one here and do that, it would also be removed. Then you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. So if we scroll down, we would zoom out and see that the size of all of the markers and the player icon also changes accordingly. It will zoom out to a specified minimum amount, which we now reached. And if I scroll up, we would be zooming in. Now when our map goes out of the boundaries of our viewport, which it currently does, you can hit the left mouse button and drag to move your map. And if you then zoom out again, it will be set to the center again. So these are all of the features of the map system. Let me quickly show you the settings that you can modify. The whole map is a simple blueprint component that is attached to the third person character. Here you've got a world map and you've got a bunch of settings. So here is the minimum zoom ratio and maximum zoom ratio. Let's just play around with these. So let's set minimum to 0.1, so 10% and maximum to 10, so 1000% actually. Then you've got the maximum amount of markers. I told you that is set to six. Setting it to zero will disable placing markers at all and setting it to something like minus one will let you have an infinite amount of markers. Then there are two booleans here for key player size and key marker size when zooming. So right now, when we zoom in and out, the size of our player changes accordingly. If we were to check these two booleans, then hit M to open up our map. Let's place a marker here. And if we zoom out, you will see that the size of them doesn't change. So they appear extremely large when zooming out. And same goes for zooming in. Also, you see now that we've changed the minimum and maximum zoom, we have much more control. So we can make this extremely small and then scale it up. And because we set the maximum amount of markers to minus one, we can just right click many times as we want and add a bunch of markers here. Apart from that, you've got a variable here which is called marker size. So the default size of your markers when you're not zooming or anything. If we were just to set that to 100 and play again, open our map and right click, you see now that the marker is extremely large. So that can also be controlled with a single setting. And the last important setting here that we've got are the marker colors. So that is an array. Like I showed you, it starts with orange, then goes to blue and to green. You could just hit the plus icon to add another element and make that white maybe. Now if we place markers, first one will be orange, then blue, green, finally white. So that is the one we added and then it would start all over again with orange. All right, so that's it for all of the features of that little world map system I built. I hope you enjoyed this little showcase and thank you for watching.